Hey guys, Danny here from Golden Finds, and I am back with a requested video that many of you absolutely love when I do this. So we are here for a hubby reacts to my thrift finds. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Dania here from Golden Finds and we are back with an extra special video actually. So there is going to be a thrift session that you guys will see right now, a walkthrough of me visiting a few Orange County Goodwill stores, but today's video is the long-awaited and requested Hubby Reacts. So for those of you who are new to my channel and don't know what Hubby Reacts is, this is what it's all about, you guys. It is all about super, super fun. So I task myself, of course, to continue thrifting at my Orange County Goodwill stores, but I have to be on the search for three items, three unique items that I will bring home to hubby and for him to react to. Now, of course, this is a total surprise. Hubby does not know the contents as to what made it home. So we are going to get a full reaction of my thrift buys and see what he has to say. Now, I cannot wait to feature him in my video. You guys, it's been a long time since he has graced his presence in one of my videos. He's always very super busy with work and now his full-time business as a hair salon owner and I just cannot wait to see what we come across and let's see if you guys can guess what items I bring home but make sure to stay until the end to see what did make it home and what was hubby's reaction to my thrift buys. Now, I don't have a specific criteria when it comes to looking for items. You know, the goal is not to just get whatever item I can get the most wow factor from him. I want to make sure that these are items that I'm going to actually utilize, whether it's home decor or items that I'm going to actually place in my home or use. So I just absolutely love, love, love doing these reaction videos. I know a lot of you also enjoy them very much. So I appreciate you guys as always. If you're new to my channel and you guys love all things thrifting, this is a channel for you. I do welcome you guys to become a member here of the Golden Finds family. So you guys can be here and enjoy all of the amazing thrifting sessions that I hold. And of course the occasional hubby reacts and so much more. It's absolutely free. It won't cost you anything to subscribe and make sure you guys are also hitting the like button. I cannot wait for you guys to see his reactions. Oh my gosh, he is definitely been a thrifter. I don't know if you guys know. I know a lot of you that have followed me for the long run know that he always was an avid thrifter as well. But unfortunately, just with time and, you know, he has been super duper busy. He just really hasn't been able to jump on it anymore. So I am the sole thrifter now in the household, which I absolutely enjoy. But there were so many cool finds at the thrift store and it was getting super hard 
Again, it had to be something that I wanted to get for myself as well, not just to get a reaction out of him. Because I could get the most silliest thing at the thrift store just to get like his most best reaction, you know? But that's not what Hubby Reacts is about. It's about me being able to utilize these items. And I wanted to make sure that I was going to pick up something that I knew I'd be able to utilize in my actual house. absolutely love a good vintage piece look at this this absolutely beautiful stand i love the woodwork and i just love the size of it i it was not bad at all for 20 dollars. i thought it was a really great condition it did have some scratch marks though then i ran into this vintage painting or print canvas artwork this is so my style you guys it was four dollars and 99 cents this would be a really great piece for Easter, but do you guys think that I picked this up for the Hubby Reacts? You guys will have to wait and see because it is a cute one, but did it make it home? I also really like this like, magazine rack holder or, um, I mean, you could utilize this for a lot of other things as well. Not just to put books or magazines on here, but it looked like definitely like an older piece. Very cute. Love the condition of it. It was in great shape and the price wasn't super bad. Ran into a little bit of Halloween. This was a pretty close buy, but unfortunately it was broken. This would have been really cool for Halloween and only at $4.99 it would have been a really great price, but unfortunately it just was not going to do. Saw this coffee canister definitely giving the vintage vibes. Love, love, love this. I know they have like a whole set of this line. And then there were mugs for days, you guys. I could not believe how many mugs 
of Radon I came across. This was just one specific store. There were so many upon others and others. I kept pulling some off the rack to discover another one and then another one. And it was just crazy. Either someone left their entire collection here or these were from the stores. There was this Valentine's Day one and this the iridescent color on it. There was this one that said Beast. Now they were priced a little bit higher than what I'm used to. A lot of the times they're not that expensive, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. Make sure to stay tuned because the Hubby Reacts is occurring right now. Hey guys, welcome to the reaction part of the video. This has been, again, a long time in the making. As many of you may or may not know, I know a lot of you are new to my channel. This is my husband, Joe, and we do this reaction session where I go out to the thrift store and I find a few items to get his reaction. He has no idea as to what I have in store for him. And it has been a long time since we've had the chance to sit down and actually do a reaction. So we are super excited. I know a lot of you love these type of videos that I do with him. Um, but since a lot of you do not know him, I'm going to go ahead and have him give you guys a little bit of an introduction as, and as to what he specifically looks into for these items and so forth, like the rules and stuff for this type of reaction. Hi everyone, um, for those of you that don't know who I am, I am uh, a former extra part-time reseller. Um, I have not right. been doing a whole lot lately. Um, for those of you who have been following me for, uh, or following my husband for a while, um, you know that I was reselling, going mm -hmm. pretty hard at it, uh, hunting, and you know, really enjoying like the ride and thrills of what it is to, uh, find like all these hidden treasures at the thrift shops, state sales, yard sales, and flipping a couple bucks for a couple more bucks. Uh, but I have um, now shifted gears. I uh, started my own business as of April. And so that has really been consuming my time quite a bit. Um, I also have a full-time job. So of course I have um, those responsibilities and commitments. So unfortunately, uh, reselling has been uh, taking a back seat late, as of lately but uh but you know i have a couple things laying around the house and i think um in my like Time. spare two minutes <laughs> of the day that i have um i'm gonna start slowly but surely getting back into it um so when i go shopping um reselling is on my mind and so all that means is that I'm looking to turn things into a profit. Um, I'm not looking to stage things at home. I'm not looking to keep uh, most of the items that I'm purchasing. Although as of late, it's really seemed like I am keeping everything. <laughs> but uh, but um, yeah, but as you guys can see, we are total total opposites. I thrift to decorate the house, to decorate throughout the seasons, and, you know, just to make the house look more decorated. I know a lot of you, I've talked to you guys before in the comments that my husband is more of the, why did you bring this into the house? This is junk or whatever. But you, we've had those conversations, you and me, but my husband has definitely a different mentality when it comes to thrifting. Different perspective. <laughs> mentality. Um, and Thrift so... Thing, it's the same thing. And so really what I, I look for in a piece is obviously profit. Um, my rule of thumb is if I can flip it for three times what I'm purchasing it, then for me it's a go. Um, if I don't feel like I can do that, then I'm probably going to pass up regardless of what the piece is. Right. Mm -hmm. But there are some pieces you have kept. He has definitely kept some interesting pieces, especially the very hard to find ones that... You know, they're just pieces that you find out in the wild and you just cannot pass up on them or resell them because you know they're one of the lifetime finds. So. Yeah, and, and oftentimes you do come across that, right? So right. not every trip, but um, the more you hunt, the more you, you sharpen your eye to see things. Exactly. And, um, the more, I guess, you manifest things because we just stumble yes. upon things um, all the time, which is really, really neat. Um, I, I, I learned a lot while I was at 
thrifting because they started off with like women's handbags and then right. slowly but surely started getting into like vintage cookware, vintage furniture, vintage vintage anything <laughs> well, you started getting more into the ceramics and stuff like the actual collectible ceramic pieces and all that stuff once i started like showing you more of like look this and that and like the vintage christmas and the vintage holiday stuff that's true that's true and then i started broadening my horizons with like different um thrifters uh mm -hmm. who were thrifting vintage like t-shirts and uh right. and pyrex and uh, uh milk glass and right uranium glass and, and all that oh all yeah that uranium, the uranium mm -hmm. glass that was very pretty yeah when we found super that. popular couldn't keep it on the shelf <laughs> so <laughs> basically how it is is i thrift to shop for myself and hubby definitely does it more as he has the mindset of profit right. to sell and reselling. reselling i am bring 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 you know decorate 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 although He's not, he hasn't been very happy with me lately because some of the stuff I have donated, which I have mentioned to you guys before, I'm doing, doing like a huge declutter. It's a vicious cycle, people. I'm doing a huge... Huge money pit, too. I'm... I need to stay calm because it could get worse. I am... <laughs> I'm decluttering because the holidays are coming. So you know that I go crazy when it comes to the holidays. I always buy new Terrible. stuff each season. So I have to let go of the stuff that just doesn't work anymore to bring in room for the newer but stuff. Flip it. Make a couple bucks. No. That we'll have more to spend. I'm okay. Anyway, so why don't you explain again how it goes? For those of you that are new and you have never seen a Hubby Reacts video, my hubby has... A specific word he uses that's a yes or a no in his eyes again he has no prior information as to what i have in store for him he doesn't know what it sells for he doesn't have you know he doesn't know what i'm going to show him and i'm pretty sure he's probably never even seen some of these things except for maybe like two items but he doesn't really have an idea as to possibly what could it go for because again he's keeping that mindset of how much can you flip it for so I have a very inactive channel known as Thrift yes. Sense LA, where I he would... He did have a thrift channel, guys. He I did. still have it. It's just very inactive. It's and been I would very inactive. share a lot of the things that made sense to pick up when you were thrifting. And so that way, that's why it was called, or it is called Thrift Sense LA. Right. So um, in this sort of game of hubby reacts, um, if it's something that I feel would be worthy of being picked up at the thrift store, then it would be a thrift sense. Um, if it's something that I feel like maybe you should have just passed up on it, then um, it's a nonsense. Which a lot of the times, a lot of my stuff you say is Oftentimes, nonsense. it is very much nonsense. A lot of stuff, you guys. A lot. Yeah. And I, he has been very busy, you guys. Again, going back into opening his own business, I have mentioned to you guys before, he is a full-time worker and also now has his business as well which he commits to it fully and his business of course is also in the industry of hair so he's a hair magician what i like to say he does what do you do with i do hair? it all i do it all i specialize in color corrections um color is like my first love um, right. but as of late uh the butterfly haircuts like super trending and super um just popular wildly popular and i happen to uh work on one of my clients who i've been doing for over a decade mm -hmm. and um her butterfly haircut kind of just took off and so i find myself doing a lot more cutting um these days which is still awesome because cutting was something that didn't come to me so natural as color did right and so i really had to work on developing those skills and and so um, it's cool. It's cool that uh, people are seeing my work. They're loving it. They're coming yes. in and um, I get to meet all kinds of people. But um, but I do specialize in blonding and color correction. Yeah, so he and, does coloring. You know, he does haircuts. He does styling. He does makeup services. as well. Mm -hmm. Makeup and beauty. So if you guys are in Orange County and you're maybe looking for, you out. know, shameless plug right here into the video. <laughs> my hubby salon is called Salon Chemistry. I will go ahead and add the Instagram account info in the oh, description yeah. box if you guys are interested in checking yeah. out the salon's page and also my hubby's page. He does have his own Instagram as well for his beauty. So shameless plug, but you know, every little bit helps if you guys yeah. are interested in seeing his work. 
So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the reaction video. As always, hubby will have his eyes shut. You guys, he won't be able to see anything. I will share with you guys first the item and we will get his reaction after and we'll have a conversation. So let's go ahead and have him shut his eyes and I will grab the first item. Okay, you guys, so the very first item is this right here. I was very excited when I came across this. We're not gonna say anything because this will definitely give it away. It was originally from here and it was only this much. So we will get his reaction in three, two, one. As a custom to, I would like for him to say what it is. So tell everyone what the item is. So it's a Yankee Candle pumpkin patch. It's mm -hmm. a Harvest and Spice pumpkin um, scent. Yes. It smells very yeah. holiday. Right. Actually, it smells more like Christmas. It's like cinnamon It apple has like a Christmas smell yeah, to it too. It's very Christmassy. Christmassy also has like that very pungent smell with cinnamon. So it kind of gives off like that pumpkin pie. So, um... These are so I, funny, you guys, because... I love candles. Uh-huh. Um, I love Bath & Body Works candles. Uh-huh. I've had a couple Yankee candles, but, um, they're meh. Um, I, I would pick this up, um, why? Because it's a dollar ninety nine. That's oh why I would pick it up. I don't know if I first would... of all, I don't think you really like sweet scents though. I think you kind of get grossed out by them being too sweet because we've but had. This is not super sweet. We've had some of the ones from like Bath and Body Works, where it's too sweet for you where you're like oh this feels like you're literally smelling like sugar and this air. is not like a sugar cookie candle like but I, it still smells very pungent like cinnamon it's like literally like a piece of pumpkin pie right um yeah i, I guess think so. so i guess so but i guess i don't i would pick it up i would call so this well i don't know how much is it sell for I the can't thing, tell you that. You can't base yourself off on how much it resells. That's the point. Well, the thing is, like, I, I wouldn't have picked it up because it was a Yankee Candle. Um, I would only have... I would only have picked it up if I could make money off it. Okay. Kind of like Party Light. Like, I've, I come across a lot of Party Light stuff. Mm -hmm. And unless it's selling for triple of what I would buy it for, then I would buy it. So is it a yes, thrift sense, or nonsense? You're usually pretty fast on these. I know. On these it's because, reactions. like, I would pick it up because I would burn it at the shop. <laughs> but you would, I mean, would you, though? Because technically this smell is only reserved for a specific time of the year. And it's coming up. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. That, that makes sense. So then you're fine Okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to say I would, I would walk by it. I wouldn't. So you wouldn't pick it up? I guess not. So it's what? I'm waiting for the keyword. Yeah, it would be nonsense. <laughs> okay, so nonsense. Okay, you guys. Well, hopefully I have a streak today because the well, last time items? we did this, I think you said no to everything. So a little bit of background information, you guys. Yankee Candles, the older, the better because they do resell for a lot. Surprisingly, this one for only being a dollar ninety nine, it is actually marked from two thousand and fourteen. The home goods tag, as some of you Did may you know, um, has the year. So there's a zero eight one four, which is August fourteenth, which totally makes sense. You know, they always bring out holiday Halloween early. Okay, how much is it? And it resells for. Someone has it listed for twenty four dollars on eBay. Now, there are some older, older ones of this exact scent, but of course, the packaging is different, the sticker tag, and some of them are selling up for up to $50, some of them up to $60 or $70. So, for you guys that are out there, if you're out there in the thrift store, if you're looking for yourself or you're possibly looking to flip Yankee Candles, if they are older, the better. Um, again, you just have to be careful because it might be musty. It might smell really bad because it has been years and years and years. 
um, but they do pretty well. But I feel like with candles, for those of you thrifting candles, they're pretty. It's pretty evident when the candles like no bueno anymore. Um, I mean, but this you can kind yeah, of yeah. There's like it some discoloration, almost, but, like it's really really old. But I, mean, I think it's from fine. 2014. I think it's fine. And yes, candles are a really nice flip. Um, you can generally find them pretty cheap. I found some um, anthropology ones for anthropology does very well for reselling. I think I paid like five ninety nine. And for those of you who know me, like five ninety nine is a lot of money. Like, I'm yeah. not going to spend on candles. <laughs> hey, see, we're the opposite. You guys have seen me bring Bath & Body Works candles yeah. that are both new and used for $5.99, yeah, even no. some $6.99. That's a no. no for him. No. For me, I find it as a great value because you guys know how much three-way candles are until you wait until there's an actual sale, which usually is forever. Um... But I found some, like, uh, anthropology ones that I was able to flip for, like, 30-something dollars. Bali Spa, um, Archipelago. Um, there was some, like, off brands that we came across, and they had, like, right. a ton of them. I think I paid, like, $2.99 for I them, and they were pointed those they were pretty good. I remember. They were pretty good um, flips. They were yeah. like, close to 30 bucks, and we picked up, like, seven. So, so the first a one day. is a <laughs> nonsense. What a bummer. But make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below. For everything that hubby reacts to, do you agree or disagree with his reaction? There are no hurt feelings here, so please feel free to either agree with him or disagree with him or vice versa with me or, you know, whatever the case is. Just drop your comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. No husbands will be harmed post this video. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. We're moving on to item number two, you guys. I normally do only three, but... Today, since it's a special video, since we haven't done it in a while, I'm going to probably do... Th well, technically, the other ones are two together, so I guess it's still three. So the very next item is this right here. I was so happy when I found this, you guys. I, I absolutely it. love it. What does it smell like? It smells like a little bit of wood, a little bit of apples. Apples? I don't know. I don't know. You're probably still smelling the candle. No. Okay. So reaction in three, two, one. <laughs> it's not apples. Yeah, I don't know where what? you're getting apples from. I thought you were gonna um, describe it as the maybe you smell like the musty smell because this is old. Uh, nonsense. Why were you so quick to judge this? I have not had much luck with artwork. I picked up quite a bit. Usually things that are really, that I find really cool. Mm -hmm. A lot of like 80s stuff, like really colorful. Mm -hmm. Things that remind me of like This was $4.99, $4.99 by the way. Um, $4.99, I, I think I would have just walked by it. I, I would have never stopped. Like what is this, You're the Rabbit? No. <laughs> what? Okay, so I picked this up. You guys know that I love to decorate for the season. This is perfect for all year round, but most specifically for Easter. And funny thing is, is I went to an estate sale with my brother once and I found this exact same print, but it was way smaller and in black and white in a gold frame. So when I found this at the thrift store, I was super duper happy. And this artist's name, have some notes here, is from Albrecht Durer and it's just labeled Young Hair. So some people resell this for $95. There's another one that's listed for $51. There's even one listed for $9,700, but it's not this exact same size. It's a bigger print of it. It's, I think, also in black and white. This one has some coloration to it. Um, but I picked this up because I wanted it for Easter. Of course, everything that I pick up, you guys, is meant for my home. I don't want to just get the most craziest, you know, obnoxious thing to get the most best reaction out of him because I know how he can get. Guys. He can get really obnoxious with his reactions. And I think this is going to look so beautiful in the hutch when it's time for Easter. But why did you pass up? Oh, I know you well, mentioned that first artwork. Of all, that bunny looks evil. How? Like it has its claws out and like it's it looks just nails. It, they don't have claws. <laughs> or whatever. Like it looks like an Annalee. Like the ears are an Annalee. Awkwardly doll. long. It's a hair. Hair's ears are way taller and bigger or taller than it a looks rabbit. Like an angry Annalee. Rabbits like, have different ears and hairs. Hairs are taller and 
Anyway. Yeah. So it's a nonsense. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Are you going to... I know where this is heading. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys that are thrifters and you have spouses out there that... Like, what do you guys display that in your house? That's not creepy. That's probably like for Halloween. That's not what I'm trying to... How is that for <laughs> Halloween? It's creepy. Because it's vintage. He... It's, it's vintage and it looks natural. Like, it's, it's a natural environment. It's supposed to be not colorful. It's supposed to be discolored. It's supposed to be kind of like a neutral color. Like, one day I came home. Oh, my God. And I'm going, like, up our stairs... And at the end of the staircase, there's, like, this creepy drawing of, like, this girl. It was so creepy. I made him take it down. <laughs> you're talking so about creepy. the one that has the hat and holding like the, the red. Yeah, I think she's, like, it's, like, a red pen or something. It was what? creepy. It was very creepy. Red pen? Or, like, red ink. I don't know. It was, like, a weird... Are you talking about the farm girl that's Maybe. holding the little tray of fruit? Oh, the one I told you was creepy. It was just really creepy. That's what that reminds me of. That makes and no sense color. at all. It makes no sense, yeah. but... Or like okay, he... so do you guys have, for those of you who are thrifters, I know I've spoken to a few of you. Do you have spouses that are like this always? Oh like, gosh, he's show? the type of person who is like always questioning, like, what I bring home and why did I bring it and it's taking up too much room in the house and why are you spending money well, all and all this blah, blah, blah. It's not valid. If it makes you happy, it's worth picking up, right? I know a lot of you okay. will definitely agree Let's to move that. on to the next item. Yeah, we could be here for hours, you guys. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys have the same issue. I've never, ever have had had to hide... Bunny. No, I've never had had to hide things from you. Like, I know people sometimes do that. That is questionable. They hide their purchases from their husbands or spouses, I mean, and... Yeah, but anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the last two items. There are two items, but they're basically um, paired the same. I'm just going to pair them together. Okay, so the last reaction. We're not having any luck today, you guys. So, unfortunately, not doing so hot. Again, coming back from the long game. I'm going to show you guys the items first. I already know he's going to say something about the price. Okay, so three, two, one. I thought we were done with Rita. Oh. Who is? I thought we were. Maybe you. He's donated so much of it. And we've like already talked about this. You guys know already. Again, going back to the declutter, the only thing that I'm donating is mugs. I went super crazy with love, mugs, love. specifically because my love of Ray Dunn began when I started thrifting mugs. Because mugs are literally the most excessive thing that you can find at the thrift store. And I just have been going through a lot of them, you know, making the tough choice of which ones to keep. Because there's so many, especially during the holiday season. I have so many for Halloween, I have so many for Christmas, Easter, 4th of July. So I just was like, you know, oh, what's wrong with this one? It looks kind of weird. Um, but no, I'm not done with it. I even have some still, so I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm still buying some for even for Halloween. Okay, I would pass on all of this. Um, this is a vintage mug. <sighs> well, but, how do you know? Huh? Well, there's no, there's no model number. or. Uh -huh. um, well, it's an older piece. Yeah, it's an not older piece. Not super vintage, but it's old. Um, yeah, it's definitely not a studio thing. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't, I, I mean, I feel like, like, instead of this Aloha mug, I would have picked up a Starbucks Hawaii mug. Um, same thing, like, one of the weird Where would collection. you pick that up, though? Like, you would have found. to actually be at Hawaii. Oh, no, you mean no, 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 yeah, like, if, um, I would have passed up on this, and I would have never paid for it. Like, that's So crazy. they were a little bit pricey, that you guys. I have told you guys before that... Sometimes the pricing for Raydon mugs at, you know, various Orange County Goodwill stores are not the same. Some of them start at 99 cents. Some are $1.99. Some are $2.99. Some are $3.99. $4.99. $5.99. I've even seen some for $6.99. Um, and that's kind of crazy because, as we know, the new mugs in, in the yeah. store cost $5.99 and $6.99. But the reason why I picked up the Aloha mug, I'm pretty sure he should know this. 
This is very nostalgic to me. I'm very attached to like anything that brings back a memory. We did go to Hawaii. It's been a few years now. It was our very first time we went to celebrate my mother-in-law's, Joe's mom, um, birthday out there. So as soon as I saw this, I knew that I wanted to have it because it brought, again, the memories of our very first visit to Hawaii, which I absolutely fell in love. Hubby did not. He did not enjoy Hawaii. No. I know. Shame, right? Shame, no. shame, shame on him. But... $4.99 was pricey, but I just loved it. It was green. And I fell in love with the Done Run. Again, this was also $4.99. They were from the same store. And I love this because it goes with all the other mugs that I have. I have Done Life. Um, well, now Done Run. And then I have like other ones that say Done. Done Life, Done done something there's there's like a bunch of them i have them in the cubby in the kitchen currently and i just had to have this one because it will complete the set so it's like so fun having all of these ones that say done on them actually but do you have something to say because you're just looking at me <sighs> i guess this would have been relevant like a couple years ago like no one's running for done yes they are i mean they are but not in the same way that i mean people are buying now for the halloween season there's a lot of the well, measuring halloween. cups halloween but buys. measuring cups surprisingly are sitting in the stores whereas mm -hmm. before you would never ever run into at least one pair it would always be so hard but i feel like uh, the stores are now recognizing that a lot of people want the measuring cups and they want to of course sell as much as they can so they're bringing them you know by the box loads of them now so but i will always be a raven fanatic i have told you guys that before in previous videos i stand by her collection i believe in her work it's more than just a ceramic line to me it's just you also have to get into the philosophy of her life and as to like how she started this pottery line and what it means to her and the simplicity of it. That's what I fell in love with. I love it and I will always, always cherish it. I know you don't anymore, but I will always have it. Even it when just we move in, move for me. when we move into our new house, eventually, no, that's it fine. Will be I just too. thought we weren't adding to the collection. Like for me, it just says that most I would just. Well, I'm like buying you, stuff for Halloween. You, you so. see it. Like today, how much done did we not see at the thrift shop? In one thrift shop. It was like a ton of it. And, yeah. And it's pieces that. But, it's pieces that, like, it, if you saw them at the store, you would have But we don't it know up. if there were donations or from the actual store. Regardless. Because most donations. of them were from, like, Home Goods, because a lot of them had a lot of Home Goods tags. Mm -hmm. um, so they, and they do, were priced similarly, I think. Like, they were priced The picture very high. was, like, what, $14.99? Oh, no, but at the store, it's like yeah. 15 or 16 so, at, at the Goodwills. They, you guys have seen it. There's a lot of Raydan out here. Most mm -hmm. of the majority of what I find are mugs, but they do get a lot of donations from either the big box stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods, or people donating it also because they are done They're with done. done. They're not but running. <laughs> that is your opinion, which you're entitled to. Okay. That's Come absolutely on. fine. But that is that was the last item. Okay, you guys, that was the end of Hubby's reaction. We did not do so well. That is really sad considering that... We did not do so well. That... Because, obviously, these were not items that appealed to Hubby. But that is fine because at the end of the day, I still am a winner. Because these are <laughs> items that I will love and that I'm going to actually use and decorate with. So in the end, we are all winners because they're still going to be used. They're not just going to be sitting somewhere, you know, stashed away. The bunny print will be put out for Easter, even regardless if yeah, you get Halloween. scared. And that's fine. If you walk down the stairs and you see it and you get scared, then that's fine. I mean, it's not a big deal. You're a big grown man. You can handle it. And the candle, I will probably light it up for the Halloween season because I don't have any Halloween candles right now. I did want to probably pick some up from Bath & Body Works, but I'm not too sure because they're pricey this year, you guys. They're way more expensive than they usually are. And I think some people have mentioned that they are not doing any discounts on them this year. So, yikes. So, I don't know. But let me know in the comments down below, as always. I would love to hear where your guys' thoughts are. Do you agree with any of Hubby's reactions? Again, no. <laughs> Again, no hurt feelings. 
you guys will soon get to see and you know as more hubby reacts videos come out because i'm going to try and make a habit of doing more of them my husband has a very sarcastic manner of dealing with things and i just try not to pay any attention to it but sometimes it does reach a boiling point where i just lose it and i become the what is the word not hysteric i guess hysterical right the hysterical version of daniel so that's just how our relationship is um but i hope that you guys enjoyed this let me know in the comments down below. Make sure that you hit that like button. You guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I do welcome you. It's absolutely free and it will not cost you a thing. And shout me out to your friends or anyone who also loves thrifting. I would appreciate it. We are soon on the road to reaching uh, 3,000 subscribers. So it would be fun to make it to 3,000 before the end of the year. So that is my goal and I cannot wait. But do you have any last closing remarks or words? Do better next time. You're so sarcastic. <laughs> you have no idea. You are so annoying. Um, but anyway, but thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in to today's video. And I will see you on our next thrifting adventure. Bye.